Hey folks, Quill18 here. We're just about to get started. I want to give a quick little backstory here for Wings of Liberty or even with StarCraft 1 if you haven't played it. Basically, there are three races. There's the Terrans, the humans. There are the Protoss, who are kind of a noble uh, warrior race. And then there are the Zerg, which is the bug-like swarm. And generally speaking, the Zerg is considered perhaps the more evil of, of all of them. But this is the Zerg expansion. Uh, the character, the main character of the Zerg, Kerrigan, used to be a human, a human ghost, very powerful psionic, and when the Zerg sort of overran her position, instead of simply uh, killing her, they actually captured her and uh, infested her with the, the Zerg, I don't know, virus, or uh, I'm not sure what to call it, and turned her into the Zerg Queen of Blades. And for a while, she was basically like the, the second in command of the swarm under the Overmind, and at some point the Overmind was killed, she became independent, uh, kind of broke off from the, the main Zerg host, and had her own sort of, I don't know, colony, I guess you could say. Uh, and she was still kind of evil and, you know, killing billions and billions and billions of people. So in Wings of Liberty, uh, through a variety of events, at the end of it, you end up sort of uh, zapping Kerrigan, basically, with this anti-Zerg thing. And it stripped away some of her Zerginess and made her back into somewhat more human. Although, as we'll see when we get started, she still has a, a fair amount of Zerginess in her. And I'm really curious to see what that is going to mean for her and her personality. This is the Zerg expansion. We're going to be primarily playing as the Zerg, but she's not she's not fully Zerg, so I'm I'm I don't know. We're, we're going to see what 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 happens here. Anyway, let's let's hit new campaign and pick Brutal, of course. The only way to play. Blizzard. That's a kind of a rusty version of the Blizzard logo, I think. It looks slightly different to me. I don't know. Maybe it's got some Zerg slime on it. Oh, and here's the famous, famous cutscene trailer. This is what they uh, they released not that long ago, actually, to introduce part of the swarm. Burn. This is Sarah Kerrigan. You can see the, the subtitles in the bottom left corner. The Zerg are kind of gross, very biological. <clears throat> I'm going to talk over this to some extent because you can find this trailer all over the place if you want to have an unadulterated version of it. That's an Ultra Disc. Very big. This is the world's dumbest Viking. Uh, yeah. That's kind of how it goes in, in the game as well. Ultras aren't quite as terrifying as they are in this particular cutscene, uh, but an ultra against a Viking is always going to work out that way. <laughs> These are siege tanks. They actually do have to deploy like that in game as well, so that they can fire at maximum range. I know to a lot of people this isn't going to be news, but I figure to all, all the StarCraft veterans, they've already seen this cutscene anyway, and they can probably just skip it. That's a Nidus Worm. You can use them to ferry troops underground, and sort of teleport them from location to location. That's a statue of Arcturus Menxt. He's the human emperor and general dickhead. If we get to kill him in this game, I'm going to be very happy. Kaboom. And that is Sarah Kerrigan in her full Queen of the Blade form. The Queen of Blades. I like the smoky purple eyes. And this is her somewhat restored to humanity form. Alrighty. So I want to play. Give me a mission. With the disappearance of the Queen of Blades, the Zerg Swarm has been shattered. Jim Rayner's rebel forces. That's who. That's the main character from uh, from the first sort of expansion. I mean, it's it's the main StarCraft II game, Wings of Liberty, but it's. I don't know. It, the, the StarCraft 2 is divided into three parts. Wings of Liberty, the Terran part, part of the Swarm, the Zerg part, and then um, Void, 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 Void. Something void. 
the Protoss part. Anyway, um, uh, they've smuggled Sarah Kerrigan off Char, leaving the planet to General Warfield and the Dominion. Meanwhile, the powerful Zelnaga artifact has disappeared. In a hidden base in the Umijan Protectorate, Rainer and Prince Valerian have begun conducting tests to ensure that Kerrigan's return to humanity is complete, but they are running out of time. Throughout the sector, Emperor Mengsk's forces carry out a relentless hunt for the Dominion's most hated enemy, Sarah Kerrigan. So this is the prologue mission. I suspect the gameplay will be pretty basic. And more sort of in-game cutscenes, probably. I don't know, it might have fully rendered. Oh, yep, yeah, more fully rendered. <clears throat> That's Jim Rayner. I'm not going to claim that the writing in here is particularly brilliant, but they do a good job in their cutscenes. Ah, they got our new outfit. Interesting. Uh, what's not interesting is I'm not totally happy with the outfit they put her in. It's like, really? Really with like... Most of this yeah. Test. It's your last one. They better not be pissing her off. She's not going to be nice when she's pissed off. She can kill you with her brain. Then we can go after Mengsk. Forget Mengsk. Forget all of it. This is about you and me. Until Mengsk is dead, there can't be a you and me. I moved heaven and earth to bring you back, Sarah. I can't watch you throw that away just for revenge. I know, I like revenge. Test phase two. I never gave up on you, Sarah! Don't you give up on us! She looks different as a brunette. As I recall, she's a blonde in the main game. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm just getting confused with Nova. They've got the same physical model. 